Hi and welcome, Peter here on this series of videos where we're going to teach you about how to get people to come to your classes. This is easily the most difficult thing in the whole setup. I mean, learning meditation is actually not that hard. You go through the process, you practice it, giving, delivering a really good uh, lesson. You know, it's, it's not easy, but you can do it. It's how to get those bums on seats in the first place. So in this series, we're going to talk to you about how to make that outreach so that you can let people know about your classes and motivate them to come along, but also a little bit on how you can motivate them to keep, keep coming back because we uh, need not only to have those people come, but to come back week after week. And meditation, unfortunately, whilst very important and very good for us, is also really easy to procrastinate on. So people can easily say, oh, I'm a bit busy tonight, I'll just skip the meditation practice and we need to sort of counter that. So what we've decided is to make a seven day, really detailed uh, point by point list of how you can maximize your time in getting outreach and getting customers to come to you. And if you're just beginning, uh, you'll know that in our program we have a seven day free uh, week before the first subscription is due. So the idea is if you put into place every single one of the points that we're going to teach you throughout this um, program, then you should by the end of the week have six people that have signed up which will easily pay for your venue costs and the costs of the script subscription and that, uh, that point. So ideally there should be no capital outlay from you in setting up these groups. That way anybody, whether whichever financial situation you're in, can start a meditation group. Now there's one proviso and that is that when we teach you this stuff, you've got to put it into action. And so the biggest obstacle from your side is again, it's easy to procrastinate and say, yeah, those things that Peter and Susan are teaching are all good ideas uh, and I'll think I'll get to it tomorrow, you know. There's nothing like today. You've got to put these uh, pieces of advice into action and then we guarantee you by the end of a week or definitely by the end of a couple of weeks, you will have the minimum number, whether that's four or six or eight or ten people, that you need to come to your class. So. Before you go on to the first video, I want you to make the promise right now that as you go through the videos, you will undertake to follow the advice that we give you and uh, put into place every course of action that we suggest in order for you to get those people to your class. So if you promise that, uh, and by the way, I suggest you don't even go on to the next video, first of all, until you make that promise, and then each subsequent video, don't go on to lesson two or day two until you've implemented what we've suggested on day one. And that should, by the end of the week, get you those people that you need to start your place. Okay, are you excited to jump right in? I am, I'm excited to tell you about the first thing that we can do to start getting people to your class. So let's go ahead and do that now in video one. 